Today we're going to look at creating different washes, uh, some controlled, some uncontrolled, some expected, some unexpected. We're going to play with watercolors. Hang on, it's going to be fun. So let's start first. I'm going to draw just six fish shapes. I do like this shape sort of of a whale because it's got the big bulbous body then the little wee tail that you can play with. Fine if you have to take your time and draw them out each time, you lose the spontaneity and that's what this exercise is more about. And I tend to work my central colors to always work with are sort of a quin magenta, the red, yellow, blue primaries, but I like using more of a, a quin magenta or, or a rosy red. I do love using the more the naphthols and the cadmium red hues like those, but I like them more for top layers. Right now I'm going to be doing a lot of um, layering, so I'm using more transparent colors and pigments. This one is the phthalo blue, good standby for mixing. And I could have used a lighter yellow, but I'm such, I'm going through a phase now where I really like air light yellow deep. And I can never get enough of phthalo turquoise. And then a good permanent green to do some mixing with. It's more of an opaque watercolor. Okay? And I will keep my tray handy with a more selection of colors. Okay? First one, let's start with our air light yellow. This one, like we talked about, I'm not going to wet the paper first. I'm just going to start putting it on. But I'm not going to go everywhere. This is the one where I'm going to let the dryness of the paper and my brush, I might even tap it in my rag here, and then I'm going to just put a little wee bit in here. Okay. All I'm going to do with that one. And then now, while it's still wet, I'm going to take my smaller brush, Paper, some of the areas where the yellow wasn't. And then I'm just going to let that dry. I feel like I want to get it just a little bit more intense right in here. You notice I changed my brush because I wanted to have more control on the edge, so I'm using this round brush. And the next one is going to be wet on wet. So I'm wetting the whole paper first, but I'm not going to wet every area. I'm just going to wet certain parts, certain parts that I'm going to leave dry. I'm going to try something just a little different. And then now, I will add my color. I'm going to add yellow blue. Oh, look at that beauty. This one, I'm going to go in with the yellow. That's that's pretty tense right there. If I test that out, see how strong that is? So I'm going to do the stripe in that. See, I've got con more control. I'm just going to let that sit so it doesn't bleed. Because if I add the water to it, I mean, it's going to bleed out everywhere. Then I'm going to add my yellow turquoise. I'd like that to be a bit more intense. There's some real fuzzies happening down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that and see at this point when it's still wet. I'm going to add some of this yellow to it. See if we can get some nice. I don't want this to be too intense, so I'm coming over here, check it on my blotting paper, and then just add some more yellow in certain areas. Let's get my spotted fish happening. still to touch, but I think it's enough that I could go into it. 
I'm just going to try to get some of this gorgeous color. 